Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today is Pack Battle Day. Average Joe and I go at it every Wednesday. A little late this Wednesday, and that is my fault entirely. Joe was ready this morning, and I have been completely backed up with stuff today, but I am delighted to be getting into it now. It is 2022 Archives. I haven't opened this product for a long time, and I love Archives very much. One of my favorite products that anybody does. This was another discount box, and I could not pass it up at that price. You guys know the way this works. You watch my video, watch Joe's video, and you find out who pulled the best cards today. Joe will be opening a box of this, and I will be opening a box of this, and uh, should be a lot of fun stuff in here. Archives has a lot of different designs from previous Tops years. There's a lot of air in that box. I often berate Tops for that, and I will do it again today. None of these packs particularly feel especially heavy or, or <laughs> light to me. I'll put the first pack last, and that'll be as much mixing up of the packs as I'm going to do. Let's see what's in our first pack. See if we have any chance against the winning machine that is Average Joe. He always seems to do quite well. A nice Tony Gwynn card there. Very nice to start off with Tony Gwynn, a player I've always collected. Roger Clemens as well. And then we got Jonathan India and his flowing locks looking uh, perturbed or curious. I'm not quite sure what that expression is. In the 1978 design, there's Luis Gill, rookie card. And Brian Delacruz, another nice rookie card there. He looks delighted, as all players should on baseball cards, in my opinion. Ricky Henderson is our big baseball foil from his time with the A's. It looks very young in that picture, actually. Very nice to see that. Give that its own stack. And Lou Gehrig in the 1987 Tops design. Chipper Jones and Willie McCovey, three Hall of Famers in that design from 1987. Very nice to see that. Go to our second pack and see what we get out of this one. You can get all kinds of cool stuff in these. And uh, of course you can look for autographs and relic cards and stuff like that. Right now we got Dale Murphy also looking quite young in his early days with the Atlanta Braves from the late 70s, no doubt. And there's Bryson Stott, nice rookie card of that player. We get uh, Zach Wheeler, another Philly there, two in a row. Marcus Simeon and Roberto Clemente, the great one. Roberto Clemente, one of the best outfielders to ever play the game. Very nice card there. And MJ Melendez, and that is a rookie card as well, and that is kind of an insert. These uh, are sort of uh, short prints, uh, so I guess I'll put that in the Ricky Henderson stack. Nick Lodolo, rookie card. And Bryce Elder, another rookie card, two rookies in the 1987 design. Let's see what we get out of our next pack. Once again, head over to Average Joe's channel and watch his video, see how he does, and then see how I do, and let us know in the comments who you think gets the best cards today, and they will be victorious in today's pack battle. Max Scherzer, looking uh, like the elder pitcher that he is in the league right now. Tariq Skubal and Luis Castillo. We got Duke Snyder in the 1978 design. Nice to see that. Richie Ashburn, another Hall of Famer there. And Eddie Murray is our big baseball foil. That is uh, pretty sweet. Collect Eddie Murray. I'm not sure I have that card, so that may be a Wolf Lair card for me. Luis Garcia, Jazz Chisholm Jr., and Casey Mize finish off that pack in the 19. 87 wood grain design. Of course, 1962 tops also had a wood grain design, but a little bit different than that. Eloy Menez starts this pack off for us. And then we got Reed Detmer's rookie card. Very nice. Spencer Torkelson rookie there in the 1978 design. I like to see that. Royce Lewis, another rookie card there. And that's a sweet one. Nice Buster Posey MVP card that is in, I believe, the 1958 design, I believe, is what that MVP card, so that's pretty cool. Put that there. Nick Castellanos and Romy Gonzalez rookie card. Cal Raleigh rookie finishes off that pack for us. Three packs left, so we're more than halfway through our box today in our pack battle versus Average Joe. Shane Baz looking like he's having a great time there. No pepper, Shane Baz. No pepper. Rookie card of that player, Adam Wainwright. And Wade Boggs, that's a nice one. 1978 design. Wade Boggs, beautiful card, really. I like that sky in the background. Alex Kirilov, and uh, that is uh, that is a parallel and an insert. Tyler Tyler McGill, rookie card there with the silver bordered parallel, and that is numbered to 99. That is the first time, and I've opened a lot of this product. That is the first time I have pulled a silver bordered parallel. So that's a pretty nice card, and it's a rookie. Wish it would have been a player I collected, but. Uh, Beggars can't be choosers. Raffi Devers there on the greetings 
from Boston card. You see the green monster behind him there. Pretty sweet postcard oriented insert, which I like a lot as somebody who collects postcards as well. Adolis Garcia and Jim Tomey, the Hall of Famer there. Tomey with the Phillies. Wow, that's kind of unusual. Always see his cards with Cleveland, of course, who he spent most of his career with, so kind of unusual to see that. That was a pretty nice pack, I gotta say, with the numbered card and the Raffi Devers insert. Patrick Corbin starts this pack off looking very serious. We got Joe Maurer there, new Hall of Famer, and Jose Altuve. There's Tyler Stevenson with uh, kind of a creepy smile, I gotta say, Tyler. Mike Trout. There's a very nice card, 1978 design of Mike Trout. It's a Wolf Lair one for me. I like that. It's Showtime. Nice Shohei Otani card, and I believe that is from the World Baseball Classic. Is that right? Yes, I think so. I don't, I don't know. Oh, AL All-Star. I knew that outfit was a little bit different there. I guess that's from the All-Star game. That's that's two for the Wolf Lair in a row. I'm going to put those over there. Why not? Harmon Killebrew in the 1987 design, and Tom Seaver. Tom, terrific. Two Hall of Famers there finishing off that pack, and we finish off the box here with this final pack. Once again, check out Joe's video, check out mine, and let us know who you think was victorious. There's Christian Yelich looking cocky. That's the only way to describe that expression. Chris Bryant and Kevin Gaussman. Sean Murphy looking pretty excited and delighted to be on a baseball card as well. He should. Al Abalberto Mondesi and Emmanuel Clace. Here we got to our big baseball silver foil card of Ryan Valade, and that is a rookie card of that player. Pretty nice. Edward Cabrera, rookie, and Tyler Glass now finish off that pack for us. So how'd we do against Average Joe today? I'm not so sure. We we did get some nice inserts, I gotta say. Got our, our three, you got three uh, big baseball foils, and uh, Eddie Murray and Ricky Henderson are both players I collect, so those are nice for me. Rafi Devers, greetings from postcard. Nice MVP card of Buster Posey and an MJ Melendez debut insert there. We get the uh, numbered card with the silver bordered and a couple of, uh, probably more than that are going to go in the Wolf Lair, but these two for sure. Nice Shohei and Mike Trout. So pretty good, I think, anyway. Pretty good box. We'll see what uh, you guys think about that in the comments. And of course, watch Average Joe's video. Let him know over there what you think. I will link to his channel in the descriptive box, as I always do tomorrow on this channel. We'll be opening the second half of the Cooperstown box that I started last week, and this week we are due an on-card Hall of Fame autograph, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun going through the rest of that box and seeing who that autograph is going to be of. And of course, Friday's Dorking with Dice should be a great rest of the week here on the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today, and as always, happy collecting.